Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. In this video I will be reviewing one of the newest VivoBook laptops from ASUS. This is a 2019 model and I will tell you everything about it. So let's start with the basics. This is a 15 inch display laptop with pretty good build quality. The exact model number is X512D. On the back we have a fan here along with some rubber thingies that keep it in place. On the front, well, only the ASUS branding and nothing else. Here we don't have anything. On the back side we have some vents but not much more. On the side, the left one, we do have two USB ports which are not USB 3.0 and two LEDs. On the right side we have a few more interesting ports so micro SD which is really nice, um, headphone jack and microphone combo port, USB Type-C 3.1, HDMI, a USB 3.0 port and the power adapter port. I forgot about one thing, on the back we also have two speakers so they are bottom firing and they will somehow reflect on the surface. Okay so let's open it up and see how it looks on the inside. Asus VivoBook 15 Ergolift hinge as you can see the laptop is lifting itself up with these two hinges on the back which is quite interesting it has like a tilted mode nano edge display i will show it to you right away and yeah the usb type c here we have a fingerprint scanner usual trackpad keyboard mm, nothing amazing the key travel is normal and it's quite decent we have an ampad here um and yes you may have noticed these two stickers so this one is equipped with a ryzen 5 3500U which is the latest gen Ryzen CPU for Ultrabooks. It's a quad core processor and it also features AMD's hyper threading so it's 8 threads in total along with Radeon Vega 8 integrated graphics. Quite a nice design and quite a good feel given that this is a budget laptop so I will tell you immediately the price and every other detail. Let's just go fast through the power brick so you can take a look at the specs it's a 45 watt AC adapter nothing too special quite typical for ASUS laptops let's just power it up and see how long it takes right that was a 20 second boot up for a budget laptop which indeed has an SSD now you can also see this display which has very thin bezels on the sides and on the top. On the bottom it's a normal sized bezel with the ASUS VivoBook lettering here. We have the front camera here which is nothing special. Um, 720p typical webcam. And yeah, the microphones here, nothing else. The display is quite nice. It's a normal LCD panel but Given that you have such thin bezels, it allows for the laptop to have a very, let's say, compact structure and for the laptop to be very light. This whole laptop is about 1.5 kilograms in weight, so more or less similar to other 14 inch laptops, not 15. Let's just quickly go through the specs. CPU, Ryzen 5 3500U, 4 cores, 8 threads. I think the base frequency is somewhere around 2.1 GHz and the uh, all core boost is about 3.5 which is really good. RAM. This laptop was supposed to have 8 GB of RAM. It only shows 6 here and if I go into device manager it will display 6 too. So we have 1.5 out of 5.9 but here we have in memory 8 GB. So yeah it's quite weird. I guess at the end of the day it has 8 GB of RAM. Graphics. There's two gigabyte Radeon Vega 8 integrated graphics card, which is quite good, much better than the integrated HD graphics that Intel offers. As storage, 
you have a typical 2.5 inch Kingston SSD with uh, 256 gigabytes and with yeah real capacity to 38 gigabytes which sits quite cool no optical drive finally and yeah that's about it this is a fresh Windows installation and it's very fast so I have absolutely no complaints I really think that Asus has done a great job with this one and yeah the first time I saw it I was really surprised that it has some features which I haven't seen in laptops of this price point so just take a look here yes these are backlit keys so you have these hotkeys here on top the numpad which always is pretty useful and this gorgeous display which really does the job it may not be the brightest display it may not be the most accurate display but at the end of the day this is a quite cheap laptop so this particular laptop has been bought for a price around 300 350 euros which is a definite best buy it is quite sturdy these hinges are yeah quite decent as a day-to-day -day laptop for like browsing movie watching very light gaming maybe some photo editing it's more more than enough battery life i haven't really tested it but probably not six hours but you should get around three to four hours in real life with wi-fi turned on this asus vivobook is probably one of the biggest surprises i didn't expect a let's say budget laptop to be such well built to have such good components and kudos to amd for bringing up some good competition to intel yeah it's a good package overall so between the slim bezels illuminated keyboard good internals it's quite a good package of course i won't dwell too much on the disadvantages you cannot really ask for much more than this so it has only one uh, USB 3.0 port two of them on this side are USB 2.0s but I like the fact that for example it has the micro SD card slot and not an SD card slot which is much nicer given the fact that most people use micro SDs nowadays overall I would totally recommend this laptop if it's within your budget and you find a good deal on it I think that it's a very good choice this was the review of a 2019 asus vivobook with ryzen 5 cpu thank you so much for watching if you liked it please do press the thumbs up button if you'd like to see more similar videos in the future also press the subscribe button which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part once again thanks a lot for your support and as always see you next time bye